Hey everybody, Slay here. Gonna be taking out the uh, MEBF109G. Um, one of the users, uh, Underboot, posted in the comments for, you know, asking if I can do a review of this 109G. Uh, he says, still wondering if I'm missing something when flying it. To be honest, man, I've flown this plane in every iteration. I flew it stock. I flew it with all its equipment modules. I flew it with a crappy pilot. I flew it with at least a one skill pilot or yeah, one skill pilot. Uh, flew it with no equipment, flew it with all equipment. And much like the ME209A at tier 8, this plane just did not sit well with me. Um, I have a feeling it's a mix of the machine guns with the cannon. Uh, they just don't feel good. The 13 millimeter machine guns with the 30. And mind you, it's a slow lobbing 30 that's close range which is the same guns that are on the uh, 109 Zwilling um, it mixes those with some machine guns it's a very fast overheating gun so you know the 209 was an upgrade to everything on this plane so it should have been a better plane uh, the 209 gets the 30 that's from the TA-152 which is super long range it's, good. it's got uh, bigger guns on the side which I believe are 20s right so I mean it should have been an upgrade to this thing and I think it is but that plane <laughs> didn't sit well with me so if that plane didn't sit well with me you use your imagination how Attention I feel about this one. <laughs> Enemy but I'm a Destroy you know I'm, I'm a good sport so I grinded out the credits bought this plane again grinded out you know enough credits to buy the modules grind out the credits to get the equipment because it's 25% off equipment this weekend so I was going to buy the equipment anyways so why not uh, you know rent it in, per se and put it on this plane and try it out. So I'm going to play this plane right now at its altitude, right? 2200. But here's the problem. Who's up here with me? And chirp chirp, there's nobody up here with me. That's because nobody plays this altitude at tier 7, right? Everything's around 1500 to about 1700 uh, or lower, mostly lower. So I mean, who comes out this high, you know, to do anything other than bombers? And if it's a bomber, it's going to be an RP-17. If you'll look here at this armament, you just don't have enough to uh, really do any significant damage. The machine guns are nice, but they are just piddly. I've seen uh, tail, tail guns that are definitely stronger than that. My motor gets taken out here. I'm at 1,600 meters. It's kind of a nightmare. Here comes the yak. And yeah, kamikaze. Let's just run. <laughs> Need to respawn anyways. So I know it's kind of a crappy play there, obviously. Uh, you know, nobody wants to watch someone just ramming people. It's not how I play here, but that is how I feel about the plane. <laughs> Start flying with F-16 Falcon 46 uh, from the, I believe, the Netflix clan. He's in AI-08, and he's kind of carrying me this game. And it's a map with command centers. You know, I'm going to go try and defend our airfield by killing some bombers, even though I know that the bombers cannot single-handedly take out our uh, airfield there. But, you know, I just want to see how much damage I can do to bombers. And unsurprisingly, it's not that much. So let's see what we can do once we get closer. That's another thing. Look at the range you have to be in this plane. You're talking 500, 600 before you can even start making dents in planes. That's kind of weak. So I have heard from some people that they like this plane, and it, it might be for them. And if it is, then by all means, you're going to love the ME 209A. It's funny that that uh, meter just ran that guy there. So I'm pretty confident that uh, he'll get the command center over there. So I go ahead and just turn to the middle, which he does. Again, I'm, you know, I'm only 1600 out to right now. I'm not really seeing any targets out there. Uh, this is not the greatest map for this plane by any means. I would prefer something that was a lot more caps, a lot closer. Uh, there's just too much flying around here. Uh, you just don't really have the speed. I mean, you do have the speed, but it's just such a big map for a tier seven. Makes for kind of a kind of a boring game in a way. So from the side, attacking that bomber was pretty decent. But just trying to lob this 30 at people's rear. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's barely going down. And that 30 just overheats so, so fast in this plane. It's 
not a redeeming quality for me. Um, if I'm going to use 30s, it's got to be something that, you know, has more damage than overheat. And when your gun is, you know, getting four or five shots before it's overheated, but you're only doing about 10% of the damage per hit, you know, let's no do the math. You're not going to be able to take a plane from full to nothing without overheating this gun at least twice, right? So, it's just, mm, it is what it is. So finally a heavy, but again, I'm at 1300 meters, he's lower than me, and that is the bot heavy. <laughs> So the bots are even playing lower than 1300 uh, ceiling, which is pretty interesting. There's another plane uh, ahead of me right here, the F7F. I didn't really care for this plane either. Maybe because when I got the pancake, it just took everything the F7F did and does it so much better. Um, but it's just another plane that wasn't for me. But again, there's probably people out there that absolutely dominate in the F7F and the 109G for that matter. Um, but I'm just not one of them. <laughs> so there's that meteor pack again. It's kind of a scary pack right there. A couple meteor bots. I mean, it's almost as bad as facing like two 262 bots, right? There's nothing worse than getting passed around by a couple 262s uh, from some uh, ace bots, for sure. So clear out the, the meteors there. Start heading towards their airfield here. Get that superiority. It's P51, and yeah, conditions. much like you P51, I get the uh, treatment that you got. These planes, that P51 and this 109G, were dominating in history. I mean, these were some of the staples of the uh, of the war. Um, they just don't translate that well to this game. Uh, they might, you know, more in uh, other games that are a little bit more realistic, but definitely in this game, meh. There's other things that tier 7 that are more interesting for sure. This one's about to end though, it's 500. Go here, uh, try and get a kill on this A7 and the Spitfire real quick. Way to go. We just picked up superiority. <laughs> Guy only has one hit point, I wasn't even There's able to hit him. <laughs> here. To uh, you're not going to outturn the Spit, so copy? I just go ahead and aim right at this Yak. But the game just took to completion. So. I'm proud of you, pilot. Pick up the Get number two home. spot. Um, something like 8,400 points. I played this plane probably about 10 games today, and that was one of the most decent ones I would have had. I feel if it would have been like an 800 score game and not superiority, um, definitely would have got probably around 10 to 12K there, personal points. But I just don't really feel <laughs> like continuing on with this plane. Um, I just have so many things at tier 7 that I'd rather be playing or flying, uh, such as, again, the Meteor, the A7, the Key, I-220, Yak-3 RD, I mean, the list just goes on forever. I'd rather fly VB-10, IL-10, um, this plane is beautiful and it looks great, but it just doesn't play as well as I would like to. So I pull in around 68k credits, 3900 experience for a non times 3 I do score more than, you know, anybody on the enemy team, which is not really saying much, though. It's only 8,400 score. But look at that gun armament. 16. Uh, that's pretty weak. Again, it has two 13s and this 130. This uh, Mark 10830. It's the same 30 that's on the BF-109Z, and I absolutely could not get used to those 30s, even when there was, uh, you know, so many of them. I believe four on that plane. So, it just, you know, the, the 30 already wasn't one of my favorite. Uh, and the 13s are just, they don't fill in the gap that the 30 needs. If they were 20s and possibly like the 20s off of uh, the BVP line or the, the 20s further from this line, maybe even just one of them would have been more redeeming than that double 13. So let's go ahead and just quick compare this plane to some of the other ones. Again, this has 16 armament, 720 airspeed. So I'm mainly looking at armament here when I'm looking at these other planes, just to see where it sits among its uh, peers. Uh, I-220's got 22 armament, same airspeed, uh, just 100 less altitude. 9U sitting <laughs> way more armament. Uh, looks like 27 there. So I need to select this to tier 7. For some reason I've filtered a tier 8 as well. So knock out all those 8's there and keep looking. 
So Spitfire at 20, which is, you know, very comfortable. Key 84, it looks like 26. A7M, 25. And the only thing that has less armament at this tier for a fighter is this Yak 3 RD. But the Yak 3 RD has a 23 that's basically a tier 10 23. So to me, it redeems itself. It's got range. It doesn't overheat that bad. It actually kills planes, no problem. I would take 123 over that whole armament on the 109G any day. So with that said, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of done playing this plane. <laughs> uh, I re-picked it up just for, for science, let's just say that. Um, but you know, if there's if I have any planes, guys, that you want to see eventually, just shout out, hey, you know, I would like to see you fly this plane, what do you think of it, etc. I don't mind taking out the planes by any means. Um, you know, I don't mind playing this game. I have fun playing this game. Uh, you know, if I just wanted to win, I would fly my RB <laughs> or or a GA every day, uh, and that nonstop. But anyways, guys, that was the uh, 109G. Not for me. I sold it. Thanks, guys. You have a good night.